If you're anything like me, you can't bear the sound of whiny PC fans. This is why I've teamed up with Noctua to upgrade the Intel stock cooler on my test bench to the NHU-12S. Full disclaimer, Noctua sent this out for me to review, I did not pay for it. However, this will not affect my review in any way. So, which CPU cooler do you have in your PC? Let me know in the comments down below. The Noctua NHU-12S is a slim tower air cooler and it comes in two different flavours. The one that I'm looking at today is the Chromax Black, but if you're more of a traditionalist, there is the original version, which comes with the nice brown and beige fan, so there is always that option for you as well. However, the specs and cooling performance are identical across both of these models, so there's no differences there either. Because of its slim design, it doesn't block any dim slots, so you can use higher profile memory, like this Corsair Dominator Platinum, which I have in my test bench. Five copper heat pipes are present, meeting at the nickel plated coal plate, and these transfer the heat to the array of aluminium fins. And then the equipped NFF12 120mm fan will dissipate the heat into your case, or in my case, pun intended, my room, because my test bench is an open air test bench. It's compatible with all of the newer consumer CPU sockets like Intel's LGA1700 and AMD's AM5. And of course, you've got your legacy support for AM4 and LGA1151 and so on. Also, when AMD and Intel inevitably upgrade their socket, Noctua should have you covered with a free upgrade kit. This is something that they did when Intel released the LGA1700 socket. They sent out upgrade kits totally free of charge to their customers, which is something that I really like to see with companies these days. It's quite rare, but it's good to see that Noctua are taking care of their loyal customers. Found in the box is the mounting hardware for all modern consumer sockets from both AMD and Intel. And not to a SecuFirm 2 mounting mechanism is one of the best in the business and because of this, mounting the NHU-12S is an absolute breeze. The included instructions are really easy to follow with clear illustrations and text instructions, so it's pretty hard to go wrong with this. I got it mounted in about 15 minutes while recording, so it doesn't really take that long to get this mounted. As my test bench has an Intel Core i5-12400F on the LGA1700 socket, I'm going to follow the instructions for the LGA1700 socket. Just make sure you follow the instructions for your CPU. And there you go, the CPU cooler is mounted. I reckon if I wasn't filming, I could have got this done in under 10 minutes. And this is really good because this goes to show how consumer friendly the SecuFirm 2 mounting mechanism is. There's also another pair of clips and vibration dampening pads. So if you wanted to add another NFF12 PWM fan to this, you can have that in a push-pull configuration. Comparing the cooling performance of the NHU12S to the Intel stock cooler, and we see some pretty great results here. At idle, the temperature with the Intel stock cooler was 30 degrees C, but the Noctua NHU-12S knocked this down to 27 degrees C. This is a 10% reduction, but at idle, it doesn't necessarily matter because the temperature is that low in a way. Switching up to gaming though, and this is where we start to see some serious results. The Intel stock cooler capped out at 69 degrees C, nice, but the NHU-12S knocked this down to 53 degrees C. This is a reduction of 23%, which is very good to see while gaming. So if you have a higher spec gaming CPU, 
the Noctua NHU12S is going to do a better job of cooling it. Maybe if you had something like an i7-13700 non-K, the NHU12S is definitely going to be a better bet here. And lastly for the stress test, I ran a multi-core test on Cinebench R23 and the Intel stock cooler capped out at 78 degrees C whereas the Noctua NHU12S capped out at just 60 degrees C. This is another 23% reduction in operating temperatures on the i5-12400F, so the Noctua NHU12S has absolutely blown the Intel stock cooler out of the water here, but was there any doubt? So with the NHU12S mounted, we see a large reduction in operating temperatures on my Intel Core i5-12400F. But how do the acoustics get on? And I'll have to say, this is the biggest upgrade with this cooler. That is because it is literally silent with my 12400F. Don't take my word for it though, I've run some tests. So as you could probably tell, there is literally no competition here. I don't have the equipment to actually measure the decibel output of both of these callers, but to be honest, I don't think I need that today because it's a very clear winner with the NHU12S because it's literally inaudible. And then you've got the Intel stock caller which ramps up like a turbo on a JDM car. It's, it's pretty annoying if I'm honest. And this brings me on to the recommendation for this CPU caller. Do I recommend the Noctua NHU12S? And the short answer to that is a definite yes. The longer answer, however, is a bit more complicated than that. It is slightly pricey compared to the competition, with the Chroma SQ costing £79.95 here in the UK. But for that price, you're getting excellent cooling and acoustic performance, excellent customer support, really good build quality and lastly the thermal paste that the NHU12S ships with is actually some pretty decent thermal paste as well. And if you're not too fussed about the aesthetics of your build the non chromax version of the NHU12S costs £69.95 so it's £10 less and that might be worth it if you don't care about aesthetics. Also if you're unsure whether the NHU12S or any other Noctua caller for that matter will call your CPU or even be compatible with your CPU, Noctua have a handy table on their website and it will even tell you how well it will call your CPU, which is a great addition from Noctua as it will add a lot of confidence for the buyer. So all in all then, the Noctua NHU12S is a function over form CPU caller. And that's totally fine because I'm a function over form type of guy. And it's definitely a CPU caller which I would recommend. And I'm going to put my money where my mouth is because I'm going to be daily driving it in my test bench system. So for every single one of my GPU tests now, the CPU is going to be called by the NHU12S. So if you want to pick up this CPU caller or you just want to check out Noctua, make sure you check them out, linked in the description below. If you want to see more tech related content, there are two videos right here, which might be right up your alley. And if you got this far into the video, I'd like to say thank you for sticking around this long and maybe even ask you for a like if you like the video. With that being said, I'm going to leave this one here and I'll catch you in the next one.